Breaking news, a judge dropped the most serious charge against a woman accused of stabbing Terrell Pryor. Shalea Briston will stand trial on a lesser charge, and Pryor is still facing charges too. Paul Martino's live with reaction from both sides. Paul. Yeah, well, she's still in big trouble, but attempted homicide charges were dropped against Shalea Briston, Brinton today. Uh, Briston, that is. She's still charged, however, with aggravated assault, accused of stabbing Pryor. Pryor, for his part, is charged with simple assault. He's accused of beating Britain. The hearing had a soap opera feel to it as NFL free agent and Jeanette legend Terrell Pryor came to court, followed by his former live in girlfriend, Shalea Briston, who's charged with stabbing Pryor. The prosecution says it was a drunken assault. Briston's lawyer says it was self-defense. This was clearly a situation where Ms. Briston was being assaulted and somehow during that event Mr. Pryor uh, suffered some injury. It's clearly not a situation where anyone intended uh, to kill another human being. The prosecution contends she tried to kill Pryor, but their eyewitness, Deja Irvin, the woman in the orange jacket, didn't see it that way. With some conflicting testimony, she said Pryor beat Briston, quote, like a dude. And she never saw a knife. But she admits taking Pryor to the hospital while he was bleeding badly. Not surprised that she told a story that uh, lent itself to uh, a self-defense argument for Ms. Briston. Uh, it's her best friend. Uh, she started playing up her intoxication and blurred vision, which, you know, she's, she's taking up for her friend. Pryor, for his part, would not discuss accusations that he beat up both Briston and her two girlfriends. Mr. Pryor, do you do you beat up women? Oh, do you beat up women? Terrell, come on. So Pryor, for his part, will head to trial for simple assault. That's a misdemeanor. Briston's heading to court on the more serious charge, aggravated assault. That's a felony. But the attempted homicide charge was thrown out today. Reporting live downtown, Paul Martino, KDKA News.